Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. I'm very excited because I want to create fantastic memories for, for Vijay who is about to be to be born and today it's fantastic because we're going to have lunch with my British family who is here. They flew from London, they had a few problems because of the EasyJet and Ryanair strikes. But anyway, they are finally here, we're very excited and we are going to Son Caliu to have lunch. Cousin Sarah, why do you love coming to Mallorca? It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to and the hotel we stay in it's just like coming home. If I won the lottery tomorrow I'd have to buy somewhere out here and then stay and not go home. <laughs> that sounds good, it would be great to have you here all year round. And what do you think about these people who just come here to get drunk? I think they're naive I think they fail to see the beauty in the island um, and I think perhaps some of the restaurateurs and the local councils could work a little bit harder to make it harder for those people to get access to very cheap alcohol. So, wait a second, let's make sure it's recording, yes! <laughs> so Kevin, why do you like coming to Mallorca? I like coming to Mallorca because it's a very clean island and the atmosphere, the, the air is, is, you can feel it's very clean in comparison to major cities in the UK. I, I also like the food and the people of Mallorca are very welcoming. And what's your favourite food in Mallorca? I like uh, Mallorquin fritos, ah. which is a, it's a, a, an awful dish, not an awful dish, not no. an awful dish, <laughs> uh, but I like it because of the dish that it's cooked in and the garlic and in fact, I think I'm going to start salivating in a minute. Oh, nice, nice. Frit Mallorca. And what would you say to these people who just come here to get drunk? I, I would say take two days and drink agua con gas and go and see other parts of the island. Take yourself up to Soyer or go to Dea up in the mountains uh, or maybe even go and see the caves of Drac, uh, which are, again, it's another very beautiful part of the island. Uh, but there's plenty to see in Mallorca. You can always have a little bit of a drink later on. You don't need to drink throughout the whole day because there's plenty of nice places to see. Take yourself into Palma. The, the, the cathedral is beautiful and, and the, the city itself is a very good reflection of the, uh, of the country. Yeah, well, I think you've summarized it very well. Cheers, primo. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Come out from the hairdressers and now I feel prettier and it's going to be nice to to be able to give birth feeling um, how shall I say it's uplifting to see yourself looking good acceptable decent <laughs> whatever you want to say but anyway as you can see week 36 getting big we have a huge heat wave. Um, sadly, there's no shade here right now. But anyway, I'm soon heading to the pool, about to, to relax and getting ready for the baby shower, which I'm really looking forward to. I hope VJ Victor Jr. looks back and, and finds fantastic memories. I'll keep you in the loop. Now I'm going home to have lunch and then I have to go to see Clara for pelvic floor training, I suppose it's called, in order to be totally ready for birth. It's a muscle, right? So everything's trainable. I'll keep you posted. I have just been one hour doing the pelvic training 
and I'm really really very happy because it's going well and I feel empowered you know because I, I believe that here you are <laughs> that the better prepared I am the better it's going to go you know delivery uh, recovery after giving birth etc so I'm really happy really encouraged and very motivated and I suppose I'm going to get a special treat now because my hubby has been treating me. It's the second session, so it would be the second treat. But I feel empowered and happy and in omni apparatus, right? Ready to give birth. And I'm sure BJ will appreciate it too. Anyway, going home and let's see what we do now. God, it's really Murphy's Law, but I can't find shade anywhere. But I'm meeting the British family soon and they will be okay. I'm sure there will be air conditioning and later we go to the sea of the pool because right now, as we say in Mallorca, to be in Ramuy, which means to be soaked, to be in the water, is really the best option. Oh, a little bit of shade, not much, but better than nothing and I'm meeting them soon and I can't wait to be comfortable either AC, sea or pool oh a little bit of shade dear lord I don't recommend you to walk in the Palma Center at this time unless you really really have to right now it's it's one o'clock it's really really hot so avoid it if you can but anyway, VJ and I are getting hungry, so hope to have lunch very soon. <laughs> to go into Stradivarius or Stradivarius as we say in Spanish I have these beautiful Monocan sandals super quality leather but they're brand new and it wasn't the most intelligent thing to to wear them for the first time for a long walk so I went into into Stradivarius and bought these which are super super comfy so I don't know if you can see me very well but at least now I'm super super comfy and I got them on sale, which is nice. Yeah, so I was going to show you my my outfit. I'm actually wearing this Mallorcan dress, African inspiration. I think this is super, super cool. And the earrings, also from a Mallorcan designer, if you want to know more. My aviator glasses, which I, I love. And then I was wearing these nice high quality shoes. But I really hurt myself, so... I'm wearing this but what can you do at least I got them on sale and I'm super happy now we're going to the beach can't wait we have just arrived at Plaza de Yetas and look it's all beautiful
Well, we are here at the Nixe Palace Hotel. It's a 25th anniversary and it's simply beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see the sea behind me and we are having a fantastic time. My hubby prepared this amazing breakfast, pancakes without any sugar, made with banana and cinnamon and walnuts, simply delicious. And now it's time for a workout. As my mum would say, at the girl. just finished the workout which I am doing with the air conditioning full blast because that's a heat wave which I think I already told you about and I didn't block anymore yesterday because you know it's nice to hang out with a family and catch up and without cameras without anything as I'm sure you understand at the beautiful Castillo Hotel Son Vida and the fantastic barman Javier de las Muelas who has worked with Ferran Adria for new cocktails and why this beautiful place. That was a fantastic event. I really enjoyed it. 
Ned as always is charming and the barman Javier. I had never met him but we have a lot of people in common and he was fantastic and of course he prepared a, a virgin drink because I can't drink alcohol. It was wonderful. This hotel is gorgeous as you can see with the tower. It never ceases to surprise me and I can't wait to bring my hubby so that he can enjoy all those amazing drinks that I can't have right now. But anyway, it's clear. I, for me that means a lot because my parents met at the hotel. My father was the hotel manager at the Hotel Bonanza. My mother was the public relations and hotel world is something I've always connected with. And when you listen to such stories about people meeting their, their life partners at the, they were waving, <laughs> the life partners at the hotel and dedicated their whole lives to the hotel world because they care about the clients, about service, about making it a better place. It just moves me very much. So anyway, that was fantastic. And now I'm going to get home because there's, I'm out of breath, that's pregnancy for you. But there you go. We have another event this evening and I'll show you what it's all about because Mayuka is full of wonderful surprises. We are here at St. Regis Mardavai and we are celebrating our wedding anniversary. It's definitely one of my favorite places and restaurant this room is brand new. It has been fully renovated with a brand new menu and we are very excited. So let's go and check it out. enjoyed this vlog very very much thanks for watching and I can't wait to yeah be of service show you how great Mayuka is and also create fantastic memories for for VJ my mom told me every day my mom is Liverpudlian and she told me every day how lucky I was to actually be born here on the most beautiful island in the world and that's something that I definitely want to pass on to VJ too Anyway, thanks again for watching. Let me know what you want to watch and see you very soon. Kisses. Bye. Yeah.